This production here in Montreal would not have been possible had it not been for our friends at Lens Rentals. For your next production, make sure you check them out at lensrentals.com. So I just learned that I won the mini challenge and I'm feeling like, yay! I'm so proud of me. <laughs> You know, Emily's a tough competitor. She's a portrait photographer, so I knew she'd get a good shot too. So uh, we'll just see how it goes from here. The Plattsburgh Brewing Company in upstate New York has commissioned you guys to shoot an ad campaign for their Double Blunderbuss IPA. It's been a wildly successful brew for them, and they want to do a campaign around it. Are you guys ready? Yay! Yeah. Cool. So you're going to have 45 minutes each to shoot the beer, essentially. Uh, we have Plattsburgh provide us with, with mugs and all the things that we need to have it look like an ad from Plattsburgh Brewing Company. Uh, we're going to give each of you 20 bucks to decorate it however you want to. The winner of the mini challenge is clearly Emily, and I'm sure you would like to know what your yes. advantage is. So we're going to give you an option of your advantage, an additional 15 minutes to shop and shoot, or you can take 10 bucks from your opponent. So you would have $30, you still only have 45 minutes to shoot, but he would be down 10 bucks. Ooh la la! I'm taking the bucks. <laughs> so I chose to take away the $10 from my challenger. Why? Just because I want it to be a little bit mean. That's why. You don't, you can't be mean then turn and apologize. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> All right, cool. So we have the challenge, we have the winner, we know the advantage. So uh, we have a video from the brewmaster at Plattsburgh Brewing uh, to talk a little bit about the Double Blunderbuss IPA. So maybe this can give you guys a little bit of inspiration. All right, how you doing guys? I'm uh, Jay Stoyanoff, the brewmaster here at Plattsburgh Brewing Company. Um, I'm gonna describe to you guys today our Double Blunderbuss IPA. It's a double IPA. It's 7.4% uh, alcohol by volume. It's uh, crafted with an abundance of Australian and American hops. Um, the hop profile uh, is notes of passion fruit, peaches, melons, and uh, citrus. Uh, it's one of our most popular brews by far, and uh, you know, definitely a fan favorite for uh, hop heads. So good luck guys. All right, guys, cool. So you have heard from the brewmaster. You have your challenge. Uh, we know the winner of the mini challenge and the advantage. Uh, we know which advantage you chose. And you now have your inspiration from the brewmaster himself. We have some awesome lights from Profoto, the new B2s uh, that you guys are gonna be able to use for the shoot. So let's get up and let's get going. So this is the Profoto B2. Pack weighs nothing, head weighs nothing, but it's 250 watts, so it'll be more than enough juice for anything that you need in the studio. Simple, turn it on right here. Cool. Modeling light is right here, on and off. You don't need to really mess with the freeze mode or anything, you're just not gonna be freezing any action. Your sync modes are right here. We have uh, Profoto Air, and I have triggers for you guys to use. We have your channels, we have your groups A and B, so you can make each one of the lights do what you want it to do. Modeling light timer, that could be a big deal. It's literally that simple to use. Power up and down right here, in tenths of a stop. So you can go all the way up to 250 watts, you can go all the way down to one watt. So, you need a little bit of light, awesome. You need a lot of bit of light, even more awesome. So, very cool. So I go down, and I go to this little market that is just down the studio and I found this beautiful chair with wood and I found also a fur. And that's it. I want to use that because it has this winter thing that I want to show in the picture. So I'm going to the market because the brewmaster said that the flavor profile of the beer has some hints of peaches, melon and citrus. So I'm going there and I'm looking for all those fruits. I never 
never showed product in my life. I think it's a really, really great challenge for me. So it looks like you're on the right path, huh? Cool, so we're just going to uh, drop the refocus on you. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So we just heard from Plattsburgh Brewing Company. They, the main ad campaign they're gonna do is a big push during the summer. So they want it to feel like summer. <laughs> so I know, yeah. I know it's the dead of winter outside, <laughs> but sometimes you have to work with what you got. Instead of winter, it has to be with a feeling of summer. So I'm totally lost. I mean, I have all the thing about winter here, and now it's summer. What should I do? So since it's summer, I think I'm going white. So now I'm trying to find a new idea. And I'm looking around the studio. I, my eyes are going to this chair, this white chair. And that's it. I have to use this chair. It's like more summer than the wood chair. And I tried everything I could. I'm taking all those pictures with the white chair and all those fruits like around the beer, but something doesn't feel right. Okay, the reason that I changed my tripod is because all my setting is really low, so I need my lights to be low too because the lights I was getting was really bad. One whole minute. Yeah. What are you going to do for one minute? So Chris just said that I have 60 seconds left. And in my mind it's like, okay, I have to try it with the wooden chair. Because I really love this chair and I bought it and I want to use it. I take the chair, I put it in front of my white background, I try to put other fruit around and I'm taking some pictures and this is it. use the extra time instead of the measly ten dollars I've got here so I don't have the extra ten dollars for props so I think I'm just gonna work with what I can find here in the studio and, and hope it works so the issues that I had that I thought of when I was out there is it's a very hoppy beer you can't really buy hops at a grocery store I don't know the ingredients that are in the beer, so I don't want to misrepresent it. Yeah. Got lots of natural light in here, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with the lighting too too much. Try to get myself a little extra. What are we? What are you looking for the glass for? What's, what I'm purpose gonna, is that going to serve? I want to get a little extra. I want to get a little extra head on this beer. Get a little. Get a little pour. Froth it up a little bit. Froth it up a little bit. And see what I can get. And I, it's a great idea. I, think I can control it a little better with the, with the glass and pouring out of that growler. 
One of the first things that I noticed when I got into the studio is it had awesome floors. I thought the textures and that would work really well. So I decided to get the beer set up on the floor. Um, we have some B2s to use. I got a snoot for one of them. I'm gonna get it down behind the beer and get some light coming through it. And uh, you know, I think between the, between the floor and the light, I should have some pretty cool shots. Pretty happy with your first round of shots. I am. Yeah, I got I got the look I was. I think I got the look I was looking for on that one. Very nice. Well, I hope I hope your napkin directions said something about a refocus on it. You're welcome. Because we just heard from Plattsburgh Brewing Company, they are planning on launching this campaign during the summer, so they wanted to have a summer feel to it. So uh, that's your refocus. I'm not exactly sure what to do now. Um, I like the shots I have. They don't scream summer, but uh, I don't really have other props and things within the studio to use. Do not forget, you can have your money back. You can run right downstairs real quick. Actually, I got, I got my ID already. Add one little prop to it, which I should be able to find downstairs. And I think that would definitely swing me into the right direction. Let's do that, grab my 10 bucks, and get out of here. So I run back upstairs. I'm pretty happy with the shots I have. Lighting set up, the beer's already there. So I'm just gonna start right off the bat, change out the floor for the beach towel and flip-flops, see if I can get this to work. The floor's kind of got a cool brown texture to it. If I do a little low depth of field, I might be able to you know, blur that out a little bit, maybe even make it look like sand. Pretty happy with the shots that I have down here with the beach towel, and uh, I've got another idea in mind. Um, time's running out. I know I'm gonna have to work quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a table, I'm gonna change my shirt, I'm gonna get this set up. While trying to get the beer the way I wanted it, you know, I'm pouring the beer in the glass and I'm, I made a mess all over the floor, but it's not my studio, so have fun cleaning that up, Emily. Make it count, my man, because you've got 30 seconds. That's it, man. That's it. Alarm goes off. That's photo throwdown. So 
that's it for Photo Throwdown here in Montreal, Canada. I'd like to thank Jason and Emily for being incredible competitors. And we'd also like to make sure that we thank our friends at Peak Design for donating this awesome prize package. They hooked us up with a ton of cool stuff for the winner. So make sure that you watch the show, go online and log in, and vote for either Team Jason or Team Emily to take this prize package home. Once again, thanks for watching, and that's Photo Throwdown.